and I feel so good. I mean, is there really such a thing as like too many pins? I know. If you're new here, hello. If you've been here, hello. I'm Rachel Adams. You might know me as on the medalist. You might know me as Alex's first wife, but I'm here living in Japan and I'm also a mindset and confidence mentor to female athletes. And I want to just share things with you that inspire you, encourage you on your journey. So today, wait, let me first apologize. I have like disappeared for a few weeks. Maybe you've wondered where I was. Maybe you haven't, but I got back to Japan like this second week of January jet lag destroyed me and I felt like unmotivated to like film any YouTube videos do anything and I feel like just the weirdness of how January start and I feel like sluggish and slow I just didn't so apologies because one thing I want to do in 2023 is be more consistent of how I show up and how I my mission of wanting to inspire people and encourage people on their journeys so I can't just disappearing but at the same time I honored how I was feeling in that moment and that feeling was just run down uninspired and just you know what I'm gonna lay low instead of bringing this weird energy into a video so here we are vitamins are dark so today I was thinking I are my lips dry Mm. Today I was thinking I wanted to go into the city and one I need to get some new pins. Do I need to that okay, I don't need to. I want to because I am a pin addict and I love pins. I could spend an hour in pin stores testing out the pins, checking out the pins and finding a new pin. So, I think my favorite store to do that here in Japan is Tokyo Hands. And if you don't know anything about Japan, they also have a very big appreciation for pins just like myself pins um what is the writing um uh it's like oh, not planners what is it stationary stationary cards anything that has to do with like writing paper they appreciate it just as much as i do so i want to go get some new pins and i also i need to find a brush the brush that i use for my hair i left in the u.s kind of like a bristle brush and i found one in japan years ago here so am i going to be able to find one again here i don't know and and I want to go to a coffee shop. <laughs> What's new? Alex is about to hop on a lesson here in like 30 minutes and I just want to be out of the apartment, have my own space, get some fresh air. So it's not a beautiful day outside. It's quite gloomy and it's also cold. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm so happy you guys are here and ready to join me in 2023. So let's get to it, shall we? Oh, and if you haven't hydrated today, this is your sign. Guys, we made it and the weather is actually perfect. It's not too cloudy, it's not raining. It feels just like a nice little like air conditioned day. <laughs> that makes no sense. The first stop is to the pin store. And it feels so good after getting off the trains because they're so heated and I get so hot and I have like all these layers on to like walk outside and it feels so good. I'm excited, you can never have too many pins. There she is, Tokyo Hands, the creative life store, but I have no idea how to get up there. Okay, this door. Okay, so we have a sign, and Tokyo Hands is 2F through 28, but, so I think I have to find this building. Okay, I'm alone now. So supposedly there's two elevators. So this is where I want to be. My, my floors weren't on there and this is where everyone just got off on. So I need to figure out how, where the elevator is for these floors. I'm doing great. Turns out it was in a whole other building. I have to find this building. There we go. 
stationaries on eighth floor. The next floor. So this floor is more home goods. How cute this coffee cup is, but I wish I had different colors than all these Easter colors. So I think we're gonna skip the home goods spot and go up to the next floor. But I have no idea what the next floor is, so let's see. It is more home good type stuff. It smells really good. Organizational things. We love essential oils. But I need to stay focused, so we gotta go to the next floor. The next floor is... It looks like shoe shining stuff, so on to the next floor. We have party and birthday stuff. You know what that means? On to the next floor. They did this on purpose because the stationary floor is the last floor and it's the most important floor. The one that everyone loves. I like this pin. First, it matches my outfit. Second, it has like little grips on it, so it's nice to like grip onto. And I like the way it writes. So I'll get it in two of these colors, two in black. I mean, is there really such a thing as like too many pins? If you're a pin expert, you know this. I can't, I can't focus it. This is the best pin, the Pilot G2. It's so smooth. Okay, I got a lot of pins and I'm not sorry about it, but I need to get out of here. This hot backpack is getting heavier and heavier the more stuff I buy. So I need to regroup, sit down, and think about my next move. I feel like I did not do the pin store justice. I did my best, but I'm gonna watch it and see if I need to do another day at the pin store. I know I'll be coming back, but I feel like there's so much to it. So many parts that bring me joy. I don't even know if I shared it with you all, but I love testing out all of the pins. I have my favorite pins, but I love finding some new ones. And I know that I found some great new ones but I'm starving. I don't know where to eat. I don't know if I can find a coffee shop that has somewhere where I can eat something good, but that is what we are working with. So let's do a little research. I might have bought way too much and so now my backpack is on the front because my back is killing me. So I did my research and I found this place called Plant Based Tokyo and the food looked fabulous and it's only a six minute walk. So that is where we're gonna go. Sun, it's getting a little darker out but it's not raining so it's gonna start raining at three so I want to get to a coffee shop by the time that it rains. Okay, it's inside of here. Okay. Wow. 
Japan has the most realistic, like, fake plates. And I'm a visual person, so I like a menu, but look at how real their food looks, so you can get a feel of, like, what it looks like. This is incredible. So, let me show you what I got. So, like I said, it's a plant-based restaurant, so... It could look, it looks questionable, but it's really good. So I went with this. Not sure what it is, but it has vegan cheese, some vegetables, some kind of like plant-based meat, a soup. It's so good. So I'm gonna find a place to sit, show you what I got at Tokyo Hands, and then we will find a coffee shop to go to. Okay, we're gonna sit right here and do a little Tokyo Hands haul. You guys wanna do a haul or here? We can't see from all the way back there. Figure it out, okay? Mm. Okay, welcome to my haul. Scalp brush, I'm excited to use this like this. Face tool to where you can use the little nodules. Skin. Skin is good. Here's the examples. You can use your neck, your foot, but I'm usually, I'm gonna use it for my face. Brushes, a big one and a small one. I left my brushes in the US, so my hair is a mess. I'm gonna try out this hair milk. We'll see. Wet wax, so just to like slick my hair back, we'll see how that works out. I got this scalp massage. I don't know, I'm excited for both. They're both different. And my bag of pins. I got mostly black and red because I like to highlight my books in the red pins and share them with people on the internet of things that I find interesting and that I'm learning. And black pins because they're classic. My mom's gonna kill me because I got another notebook, but not every notebook is the same. I can, <laughs> I can see myself. Okay, anyway, I don't have to justify my notebook purchase to you or anybody else, but I'm excited for it. It is three o'clock. Do you think that we can find a good coffee shop to go to? One that has good space and that I can sit at, spread my papers around, one that is closed. The vibe is not necessary, but the vibe would be a plus in this situation. I just don't know. And it cannot, cannot, I repeat, it cannot be at a train station because those are small and they're overwhelming. If I don't choose a coffee shop, I'm about to get stuck in the rain. Ugh. It's three o'clock and it feels like it's going on six o'clock. And my hands are freezing. Can I complain anymore? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we're gonna take a risk and go to one of the Starbucks that is right down the street. Risk is I don't know if I'm gonna find a seat. Cause I remember when I walked past there the other day with Alex, it was full. So, I mean it's close. So if it's full, I can always reroute myself. So let's give it a try. Let's go. Okay, I've had it. You guys, you guys, you need to get focused because it's about to rain and we're about to get stuck in the rain. So I need you to focus. We're going to the coffee shop. Let's go. See if we can find a seat. shoot your shot you have to see what can happen that's all you can ask for there is no seats but I shot my shot saw what could happen and it was full so now we just pivot and see where else I can sit it's about to get dark outside I'm thinking 
since I should just go back to the place that I was before that seating but now I don't know if they have tables open so that is a possibility because everywhere around here we're by a train station we're in Shinjuku it's so busy it's so popular so everything is full Problem solved, and I have this little table over here in a nook, so like nobody's by me. I'm happy. Guys, we are back in the apartment. It is two days later. I recorded something while I was sitting down with my computer, but it was way too loud. But I have to give you a little update on the hair milk. My hair is feeling good. I did a little scalp massage. I used the hair milk. I used a little facial tool, so I'll let you know how it dries and see if it's moisturized. And on top of that, I want to make my videos more purposeful. As much as I love vlogging and taking around Japan, I feel like I'm missing the purposeful aspect where I'm adding value to what I'm doing because I want to share things that I've learned in my journey, whether it's something that I learned on the way to the Olympics or a new habit that I'm implementing or something that has changed the way I move throughout life in hopes that it could also help you add to your life. So stay tuned for more videos being added into what I'm posting. There will still be vlogs, but just know there's gonna be a mix of other things. And no, I did not forget quote of the day. The quote of the day is, little things make big things happen. So if you're a little anxious about the outcome or anxious about how things are gonna work out or they're not happening fast enough or you're just worrying about if you're gonna reach the goal, keep doing the little consistent things that you're doing. Keep showing up, keep chipping away, and know that those little things that you're doing is gonna add up over time to you reaching your goal and to you achieving what you want to achieve. I'm also taking that advice, so I hope that inspired you a little bit on your journey. And with that, until next time, bye!